Well, good morning, at least where I am. Well, today I am going to put up a clamp holder. I've got clamps all over the place. I've got them laying here on the workbench. I've got them over here on my outfeed table. I have it out here on my tool cart. They're everywhere. So I have a space here on the wall. So I said to myself, self, let's put up a clamp rack. And I'm gonna use the French cleat version to do it. So let's do that. And what inspired me, I guess, to go with this technique or design, if you will. Originally, I was making these as a lumber rack. I was going to have those on the wall with the lumber on it, but I didn't need that. So I thought I'd repurpose this into a clamp rack. And all I'm going to do, it'll be holding uh, clamps like so. Easy. I'll make a couple smaller versions for different size clamps. And the way we're going to attach that to the wall is through the French cleat system. And all that is, I'll have a board with a 45 degree cut on the wall. And then the mating piece, if you will, will just slide down there. We'll put this piece on the back and it'll just slide right on there. Now I'll show you that as we go along. So let's keep going with that. So all I did was make a template to see what would work for the small clamps. And then I just used a bunch of uh, scraps I had, laid it out, cut it out. That was it. Same with the uh, template for these larger ones, my F clamps, see what, what, what worked. And what didn't. Like I say, cut them out. And even had some leftover ply that would work for the back piece. And then literally just glued them on. So now I'm gonna cut the piece for the French clip. And again, that was literally a whole piece of baseboard I had laying around. And I put a coat of paint on it. So we're going to use this as my bracket on the wall. Right. So let's go ahead and put on the 45 degree cut on this. Setting my saw blade to 45 degrees. These gauges are just great for that. Well, I have my zero clearance throw plate in for 45 degree cuts. I had to take the riving knife off. But everything else is set. So let's cut this.
just gonna take a little bit of this edge off. On both pieces. Look at that. Goes together just like it should. piece now onto the back of my rack. A little bit of glue on the mating piece. Making sure we get it in the right orientation. And a couple nails just to hold it in place. And we just keep doing that for the other ones. Wow, that was easy. And with all the stuff I already had, all the, the wood I had. Nice. I didn't realize I had so many clamps I had them stored all over the place. Not even small clamps, how about that? Now on these large, this larger piece, I put an extra block on on the bottom because they were longer, and it needed a little more space to uh, for support, just so it wouldn't wobble, if you will. So there you go. I think I'll even make a couple more. And look, it's the same day. It only took me a couple hours. Nice. So the true test comes if I wake up tomorrow morning and it's still on the wall. It hasn't fallen over. Well, thanks for watching. See you on another project. Couple coats of paint before I cut this with the 45 degree cut on it. I'm gonna make it look decent on the wall.